The chances that countries will agree to a new global climate treaty in Durban are slim. The Kyoto Protocol is currently the only legally binding climate treaty, but it's ending in 2012. To save a global climate regime, the EU must sign up to a second commitment period for Kyoto. The EU must show the least developed countries that it is still serious about tackling climate change. But the EU should also put its own house in order and address its own loopholes that weaken commitments. The Kyoto Protocol, however, needs to be heavily updated to address existing loopholes in order to be ready for the next period of combating climate change. We're at the final days of Durban and the issue of Kyoto Protocol is still right on the table. The demand for the, of the EU to step into Kyoto Protocol but then needing a binding roadmap in return is still the big issue that has been discussed. China and India made some moves but it's a bit unclear where they are now. Now is the time that the EU should step into this second commitment period of the Kyoto Protocol in order to open up to China and India because then we can get past this deadlock of the Durban negotiations. Why is Europe not doing that? Because we are internally split. Because one of the issues going to a second commitment period of the Kyoto Protocol is of course the allowances that are being carried over to the second commitment period. Poland wants to carry them all over, but there are other countries who don't want anything being carried over. EU needs to solve that issue right away in order to get to the second commitment period and in order to get China and India moving. That's not a play to play, but we have some days left, but time is getting scarce.